Hey everyone, it's Adam here. This is the Vanash Motorsports uh, riser slash um, Scott's steering damper mount. So uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be um, installing it right here. I think I chose a 15 millimeter rise instead of the 30 and the Scott steering damper will go right below it. Um, so here's the before. Um, there's no instructions for this. I Maybe it's on his website. It looks pretty straightforward. You probably do these first, uh, and then maybe these, and this is for the steering damper. I have no idea. So we're just gonna go as we can, and then hopefully this uh, video serves for someone else. All right, just an update for you guys. So um, we're using a T40 to get the uh, handlebar off both sides. You look down here, you've got a T45. Underneath it is gonna be a 17 mil uh, hex, so you're just gonna put a, uh, a, a wrench in there, hold it really tight because it is Loctited, and you're gonna you know, counter turn top and bottom to get both out. So 45 up top and a 17 on the bottom. Now the bottom won't come out unless you loosen up the bolts that are holding this guy in, which is those 230 mil, or sorry, T30s that are under here. And once you loosen those up, this will move forward enough for you to uh, drop this out. Let's see, I'll do the other side. All right, so we have uh, everything off. It's all cleaned up now. And now we've assembled this guy. So these are kind of hanging right now, a little bit of Loctite in there. So this is gonna drop in like here, and these are gonna hook into the uh, the frame pieces here. Once that drops in, then, this, then we have up here, well, I'll get there in a second, but that's basically your first step to assembly once you have all this space. I actually found removing this piece right here, which went here with two T30s made it a lot easier to drop in. Now that this is in place, you have to swing these arms out. I'm gonna use a pick to do that and swing the arms out and then screw this down with a size three, a size four hex. So this goes right in there, but it won't do anything until those arms are underneath the points, which I'm gonna be using a pick to do so. Okay, so this is everything uh, swooped up there now. You're not gonna need that lower piece back again because you, uh, you can't run the, um, the Husky uh, ignition cover plastic with the steering damper. So since this doesn't really work anyway, there's really no point in running it. Uh, it might look weird with the LR tank. We're gonna see, but uh, some little trim piece there missing, but there's just nothing you can really do about it with the, with the steering damper there. So uh, this piece goes in here and just drops right in like that. There's that. Obviously you wanna make sure that you don't have any uh, rubbing right here uh, with this piece and uh, make sure everything's tightened down. You can pull these off to make sure that you're um, your pieces are clamped in fine. Well, it's good, let's go on to the next step. All right, so here's the uh, next update. Now there are two uh, five millimeter hex uh, bolts that are in the Scott steering damper box that you get from Vanash. They go in here for top down and they have thread locker already on them. They mount to this plate right here. And now uh, we can feel free to install the uh, Vanash um, uh, risers, but make sure you have that oriented fine or it won't go in and make sure everything's snug. You can give it a little try if you wanna move it around, but obviously this isn't fastened down yet. So let's get this to go in on the uh, top here. Okay, so now we're actually buttoning down the, um, the Vanash Motorsports uh, risers. I probably should have gone actually taller on the risers if I'm being honest, but I didn't go the tallest, I don't think. Um, so you need a, um, a size 10 hex and you're gonna need a 19 uh, wrench and you're basically just counter um, counter holding and uh, screwing that in. Uh, there's no torque spec given, but just use the OEM torque spec uh, in your repair manual. Once this is done, we can then put the uh, helm handlebar back on this position and then um, button it up. So yeah, we're close to being done. And we are done. Now, uh, what's gonna happen is I am going to order a moto-minded stout mount with the reason being the stout mount is gonna actually uh, hold the Garmin Zumo XT at the top of the uh, clamp there, but um, this is it. Doesn't look good. Wow. So uh, for those of you that are just fast forwarding to the very end and just want to uh, get straight to it. So you have uh, this piece here with your arms underneath kind of bolting into each side of the upper frame. You have this assembly here. And then as you go up, you've got, well, you've got the lower mount there to the upper and then finally up here like this. The bar is 32 inches across so you can do 16 inches to this point here and that way you know you got it dead center. 
um, and then torque these guys down. I applied a very, very thin level of Loctite 243 to everything, uh, except for this lower bolt here because these are um, uh, locking nuts. But there's your top down view right there. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get the stout mount on here so I can actually put the Garmin there. But seriously, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I would like to go a little bit taller, I think, but we'll see how it feels after the uh, after it's done. Isn't that sexy though? It's a good looking, it's a good looking dashboard, just as is. All right, guys. Well, uh, Vinash, good job on the parts. Nice work. Uh, I think some instructions would have been nice, just personally speaking. But I figured it out from the photos on your website. They have photos of this on bikes, and using those two photos, <laughs> that's how I figure out how to do this. And uh, you know. That's the only complaint, but other than that, it looks so gorgeous. Love it. Have a good day, guys.